Ooh, that's strong. Hello, everybody. If you are watching this, you're probably on YouTube at the moment. Um, we're making relish today. The basic recipe is two cups of apple cider vinegar, three cups of sugar, and then whatever spices and stuff you want. And then obviously cut up cucumber, maybe some pepper, you could add some onion, lots of stuff you could do. But yeah. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are making relish. Um, you know, like that goes on hot dogs, that kind of stuff. Yeah, actually here. <gasps> Look at all of that cucumber and there's some bell pepper and some onion. It's really salty though. Yeah, it's very, it's quite, quite salty at the moment. Making jam again. No, we're making relish. Um, yeah, we grew a lot of cucumber this year. And so, it's that time of year. Hello. Hey, Greg, how's it going? Welcome, everybody. It has been almost a month since I was live, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, it's just gonna be a chill day. I'll show you. So this is the apple cider vinegar. This is for the canning stuff, so that's just water. But yeah, it's slowly, look at that color. It's really, really nice so far. Yeah, so we're just kind of vibing, hanging out, um, doing our thing. Hello from Bulgaria. Hello, my mom's in Romania right now. Yeah, hello. My mom's in Romania right now. Is it like vinegar salad? Uh, yeah, this is apple cider vinegar in here. Um, and this is called a pickle relish, is what we're making today. What's up? Hello, Blake. How's it going? Heavy emotions and struggles. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, that's no good. Is it Jack or Jax? Uh, I like Jax. Jax is good. Yeah, my name is Jax, so. How are you guys? What is up? I feel like it's been quite a while since I've got to see you guys. I uh, love your videos. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like them. Okay. Let's see if I can leave that wooden spoon there without it falling. It's like moving a little bit. Um, yeah, so yeah, today, it's just a simple relish. Um, Who was that? One sec. Sorry, somebody just walked by our door and I was like, what? It's my brother though. Hello, Nathan. How's it going? Hello from Switzerland, number one fan. Oh, welcome. I'd love to go to Switzerland. You're from Romania. That's so cool. Bucharest, that's where my mom is right now. Um, that's really neat. Yes, but yeah. So yeah, we're just having a chill day. Um, I have like a bunch of little jobs and little things like Yes, but yeah. So yeah, we're just having a chill day. Um, I have like a bunch of little jobs and little things I gotta get done, you know. Hey from Canada, hello. <coughs> Jules, it's okay, it's just, Julia, you're, you're fine. She like sees my brother, but she doesn't know. She like sees my brother, but she doesn't know. It's my brother because he's got a hat. Julia, it's fine, it's just Sam. Look at her. Jules, you're okay. Julia. <laughs> what? She's on high alert now, cause she's like intruder mode. Um, yeah, my name has the S. I know it's kind of weird. Hello from Dublin. Heading back home to Alberta in a few hours. Oh, that's exciting. I hope you have a safe flight. Um, yeah. Okay, so now what I have to do is I have to rinse these because they are crazy salty right now. And I need 
need like. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, so I have to rinse these out. So. I just need a minute, sorry. Jules, no, it's okay. Julia. Sorry, I just have to put the dog outside. Uh, no, I don't speak Romanian. No, my mom's just visiting. We're not actually Romanian. Give me the comments to come out of my parents. That's amazing, Noah, congratulations. Uh, yes, I know, I've, I haven't been live in a long time. Hello, hello everyone. Um, wow, thank you so much. <laughs> that's, that's such a nice compliment, thank you guys. I've just gotta put Julie outside because she's just like barking and she doesn't know it's my brother. We are making like a fun little relish. Actually here, before I go, I will just put this here so that you guys can like kinda see everything going. And you can just keep an eye on everything for me for a sec. Come on, do you want to go outside? My new, my new sunglasses were on the front step. And Lily, like my other dog, like ripped up the package, but she didn't destroy the sunglasses this time. She's destroyed a few things. She's destroyed some boots. She destroyed a bunch of stuff. Um, my favorite Taylor Swift album is 1989. Um, hello, Snapberry, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's good to have you here. We're making a pickle today. Do you guys want to look at my new sunglasses? They're pretty cool. They're actually like kind of basic, but I'm basic, so that's okay. Ready, ready, ready? Oh, boom, new sunglasses. Okay. Hello, Alejandro, welcome. Your dog is cute. Yeah, she's cute. She's a bit of a diva, but I can't get too mad at her. She's just trying to protect the world. Um, how am I gonna do this? We're gonna do this like this. Sorry guys, I'm moving you. Apologies. There we go. Welcome back. That looks good. Thank you. Um, it's sure coming along. We're making a relish today, guys. Uh, I'm doing good, Diesel Daddy. I like your username. Uh, haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, I know, Cats of Shadows. It's been a while. Favorite creators. Thank you so much. That's so incredibly kind. Thank you. You want me to taste it? Okay, here. It's really, really sweet. Um, it tastes like pickle juice, but really sweet, like bread and butter pickle juice. Uh, love your smile. Thank you, Stylin. Thank you. Guys, thank you for the hard hands. That's so kind of you. Um... You guys are so sweet. Yeah, so today it's just a simple relish. And yeah, it's pretty chill. Life is good on the farm. We're busy doing harvest, you know, getting everything we need to get ready. There's a lot of stuff that we still have to do before the wind and the snow and the rain comes. Um, so hopefully we get it all done. We need more lives. Yeah, I'm gonna try and be more frequent. It's just like harvest, harvest time and like on the farm, harvest time and like on the farm, harvest and everything is just so crazy busy and we're trying to get a million and 10 things done at once. And so, yeah, but I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. Thank you guys for asking. Um, it smells so good in here, guys. Like I wish that you guys could smell it. 
Um, it smells delicious. But yes. Yeah. So yeah, we're just like vibing out, trying to get everything done. There's still a lot to be done on my life saving a plate, honestly. Uh, thank you so much. That is so kind of you. Holy smokes. What is your username? It's not loading for me. I'm so sorry. I want to see your username, but I can't. Thank you for the heart. That is so kind. Can you keep your mouth shut? I like your username. That's funny. Do you know Emma and my sister are bullying me? No, nobody should be bullying anybody. Are you in your cooking era? I'm in my canning era. I'm canning today. That soup is steaming yet. You're hotter. Aw, that's so kind. That's such a that's such a nice thing to say. It's not actually soup though. Um, it's actually pickle juice. Cause we are we're making a pickle today. Or at least we're trying. We are out here trying. <laughs> Struggling. But it's now boiling, so we get to do the fun part. Struggling, but it's now boiling, so we get to do the fun part. So, can you guys see this? So you see how it's boiling now? That means we are very close to being able to add all of the cucumber and the bell pepper and everything. So we're getting close, which is exciting. Hello, Matt, I'm doing well. We are making um, relish, bicep check. Ah, oh, cool, cool. I don't even know if that, anyway. Um, I'm a runner, I'm not a, I'm not, I don't like, I do weight, lift weights, but I don't do that too much. It's never, it's never calf check, is it? <laughs> or thigh check, it's always bicep. Oh, such a shame. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah, so this is basically boiled now, as you can see. So this part, <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah, so this is basically boiled now, as you can see. So this part is going to be very chaotic. Um, one sec here. Actually, I'm going to put this here for now. Yeah, this part, this part is going to be chaotic. So here we go. So here is our huge amount of, it's filled up to like here for reference. Um, and theoretically we just, actually I should take this thing out first. Maybe I can use it. I don't want it to splash me. That's not good. That's not good. That's better. Just nice and slow. Oh my gosh, guys, the vinegar and the onions make this stuff really hard to like, have your eyes looking at it. Let's try to spray me. Okay, now we just, uh, boom. Okay, now I got the rest of this. Oh my gosh, guys, the onion in this is so strong. Even after my dad cut it up, it's still hurting my eyes. Hello from Texas, finally caught your live. Welcome, Robbie. Attaboy, <laughs> aw, thank you. Okay, um, there's a little bit left, so we're just gonna. There we go. Okay, so now, you guys can see that, right? Yeah. Now we just gotta mix this up, bring it to a boil, and then, you guys can see that, right? Yeah. Now we just gotta mix this up, bring it to a boil, and then can it. Gotta put it in some jars. I don't like how it's called canning when you're putting it in glass in some jars. I don't like how it's called canning when you're putting it in glass jars, you're not putting it in cans. You know, like it's it's weird, but whatever. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. Guys, this smells so good, it already smells like relish. Ooh. 
Oh my gosh, yes. I love how this tastes already. And it hasn't even like marinated in it yet. Oh, I'm really excited for how this is gonna turn out. Um, yeah, you definitely need a man who knows how to cook. And I know how to cook, just saying. What are you doing? We are making relish today. So you know the relish you put on your hot dogs or, really like I can't think of something else that you do with relish other than putting it on hot dogs. Like I don't, my family doesn't do anything other than put relish on hot dogs. So if you guys know of something I can do with all of this, cause I'm gonna have a lot of it. Um, you should let me know. You should let me know what I should do with all of it. Cause there's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, honestly. Um, yeah. Here, can I fix this? It's like all screwed up, sorry. Somebody really ought to design a tripod stand that actually works. Because I have yet to find one. Question, is it cheap to live in Calgary? No, I actually, I don't live in Calgary. I live outside of Calgary on a farm. So it's really cheap where I live, but I live in the middle of nowhere. And like the nearest town is half an hour away. And that's not Calgary. Calgary's like further than that. Um, but... Calgary has become really expensive probably in the last like, I'm gonna say like four or five months at least, or at the most. So yeah, Calgary's expensive, but it's a really good quality of life. Like Calgary, I think Calgary's a really great place to live. Um, yeah, a lot of my family and friends live in Calgary. So yeah, Calgary is in Canada for everybody wondering. My Wi-Fi is so bad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. The Wi-Fi here today is actually pretty good. Normally the Wi-Fi here is really bad though. Okay, I wanna try this. Mm. Hello Connor, how's it going? How is life? How are you doing? Sorry, I just had to turn up my brightness. I've returned. I'm gonna plug my phone in so it doesn't die. What a, what a concept. Could you advise how not to freak out when I have to cook? It's the scariest thing. Honestly, I think it's first about finding recipes and finding stuff that you like to cook. Um, that's like the first step is you have to enjoy it. You have to do things you like. Do things and do like, don't do huge things, you know, like start small with like, I don't know, like breakfast. Breakfasts are really easy. You can do like lots of different things for breakfast. And then you slowly like work your way up to other stuff that you enjoy, you know? And then when you get really good at it, you can just meal prep all the time. So then you only have to cook for like once a day, once a week. And good at it, you can just meal prep all the time. So then you only have to cook for like once a day, once a week. And you don't have to worry about it. Thought you were a dream for a sec. I get that a lot, actually. People kind of like, oh, is that dream? And I'm like, no. I do play Minecraft, but I don't play it the way Dream plays it. He's way better than me. Hello from the Congo. Hello, that's so cool. What's it like in the Congo? I've never been. It looks like a really neat place, though. It's a lot of jungle, isn't it? Congo? I think that's where um, gorillas and different animals like that. I think elephants live there too. Hey Jack is so dreamy, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> that's so kind. Uh, you were gonna move there, but not now. No, sorry. I like Calgary. Um, beautiful, thank you. Shane Dawson, question mark? No, I'm not Shane Dawson. Um, you're not the first person to say that though. People have said that before, which is fine. I used to get offended with it. Hello, Austin. How's it going? Hello, Rob. Welcome. 
We're making relish today, by the way. <laughs> I like get sidetracked every now and then, but yeah. We're just doing that today. There's so much of it. I can't believe how much I made. We have we had so many cucumbers this year, and my dad was just like, "What are we gonna do with all of them?" And I was like, "I'll make um, I'll make pickles, like just like full pickles." Um, hey Hudson, how's it going? And so I was like, "Yeah, I'll just make pickles this year." And then I started running out of time, and I'm like, "Oh, like there's just they're sitting in our garage, like the cucumbers were just sitting in our garage," and I was like, "What are we gonna do? Like I don't have time." And then. It's much easier, if you didn't know, it's much easier to make a relish than it is to make pickles. Because like pickles take a lot of like, you have to like get them all in the jar and you gotta get some dill and you gotta like make them look pretty and everything. Whereas this, you just shred everything, boil it and throw it into jars. Uh, dill and you gotta like make them look pretty and everything. Whereas this, you just shred everything, boil it and throw it into jars. Uh, you can usually can strawberry jam. Yeah, I made some strawberry jam on the live almost a month ago, but today we're making relish. So, but relish is really easy, which is nice. It's just a simple pickle recipe and you boil everything up and you put it in your jars and then that's it. That's all you have to worry about. It's really nice. I'll be right back. One sec. Okay, sorry, I am back. Why was that open? I wanted to grab a hat. Hello, Mike. Hey man, how's it going? It's going really well. Um, life is good. The farm is so busy, which is why I haven't been on the live recently. But no, life is really good. I'm enjoying it. It's a beautiful day today. We are, thank you. Uh, thank you for the compliment on my beard. Um, yeah, life is just good, you know? Hello, how are you today? I'm doing really good. Life, life is awesome. Uh, hello, how are you today? I'm doing really good. Life, life is awesome. Um, it's busy, especially right now. This time of year is really busy, but yeah, I'm liking it. September, like in your world, are you back to school? Is it just work? Um, are you up to anything crazy? Are you on a gap year? Are, did you just retire? What's going on, guys? Sorry, I'm just picking other music as well. Pickles are so disgusting. Um, I don't know, I... What's going on, guys? Sorry, I'm just picking other music as well. Pickles are so disgusting. Um, I don't know, I, I like... I don't love pickles, I like sweet relish, like what I'm making right now, I like this stuff. Um, and my family likes it quite a bit. I'm not a huge pickle person, just in general, but these are pretty good. Uh, hello, Richard. Welcome. I have eaten a whole jar of pickles in one sitting. I have never done that. That is extreme. That I've had like one pickle and then I'm done. I'm all pickled out. <laughs> um, yeah. I like playing pickleball. That's really fun. My mom got us into that, and now our whole family is obsessed. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Fun sign. Paul! Guys, Paul just joined the chat, and I am wearing his neck or his bracelet. He made this. So, yeah. Um, Paul, you should say hello. Introduce yourself to everybody. I have eaten a whole jar. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hello, Jeffrey. Yes, it is young. Pickles are so good. They are so good. You love gherkins. Yeah, these aren't gherkins. These are gonna, this is just gonna be like a sweet relish. That's what it looks like right now. Um, 
But yeah, I do like gherkins. They are quite good. Um, hello, hello, hello. Yeah. How hot are these getting? It is time to test. Mmm, so good. These are so good. Holy smokes. Hey Mike, how's it going? Sorry, I missed your first message there. Um, or I saw it, but I didn't say hello, which was wrong of me. Yeah, uh-oh, unstable connection. Sorry guys, my Wi-Fi is really bad. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully it's not too bad. But I guess we're gonna find out. Okay. What's the temperature? Oh, it's like 80 when your parents move different equipment you need in the kitchen like I have a thermometer that's supposed to tell me what the temperature of what I'm cooking is at and my parents have moved the thermometer oh my goodness why did they do this Guess we're not temperature checking this this particular thing we're making. Um, oh well. I guess we're not temperature checking this this particular thing we're making. Um, oh well. September is hot. Hello, Paul. How often do you work out? Flex. I work out every day. Um, and that's me flexing. <laughs> um, yeah. Hey, here in Italy, this September is too hot. Oh my gosh, I bet it is. I know England is going through like a hot streak too. Just took time off school from my mental health and it's doing wonders. Thank goodness, congratulations. I'm glad you, I'm glad you did that. Uh, love your videos. Thank you so much, John. Hello, Tyler, welcome. And Simon, hello. What's new? Not a whole lot. Um, just life, harvest. I have like so many potatoes and onions that I have to harvest soon. Yeah, I have so many potatoes and onions to harvest. I have to make cranberry jam. I've got to do that soon. Um, yeah, there's just like so much that has to be done. We have to like winterize all the tractors, the shop. We have to clean everything. I have to get a tripod that doesn't suck. <laughs> One sec guys, sorry. Bonsoir. Welcome. Hello. Bienvenue. S oh, sorry. Uh, Connor says, school started and oh my god, I love my classes. The teachers are really nice. I'm going great. That's amazing. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, thank goodness. Honestly, a good teacher can make your year just perfect. Like if you get a good teacher, it's an easy year. If you get a bad teacher, you're in trouble. It's a real shame. It's a shame we don't have good teachers everywhere. Okay, we're getting close here, guys. This is getting pretty close. Is this boiling too? Yes, good. Oh, good, 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 good. Guys, sometimes it all just comes together beautifully. And sometimes the whole day just fights you. Hello, Paul, welcome back. For anybody who doesn't know, Paul does like amazing beautifully. And sometimes the whole day just fights you. Hello, Paul, welcome back. For anybody who doesn't know, Paul does like amazing jewelry. Um, yeah, and you should check it out. I'm wearing it today, Paul. I actually haven't taken it off since uh, you sent it to me. It's okay, I'm not Jay. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. 
Um, yeah, I don't know where Jay is. Um, I haven't been live in a while, so who knows? Who knows? I just really like eating this stuff. Mm. Nathan says the calm vibe in this in this live is immaculate. Thank you. I appreciate it. Honestly, I just try to live my life in a laid back kind of way. No, not really. I don't cook. That's fair. I used to not cook at all. I used to, I used to not cook at all. I used to not be interested in cooking or baking or any of that stuff. And it wasn't until I was probably like 17 or 18 years old that I was like, you know what? I want get, to get interested in this kind of stuff. And I got really into like making steak and just cooking a nice steak. And then it kind of just evolved after that. So, salut, salut. Uh, have you checked the sink? Yeah. What's wrong with the sink? Now you're making me worried. Yeah. What's wrong with the sink? Now you're making me worried. There. Are you happy? I cleaned it. See? It's all nice now. Have you checked the sink? Yeah. Guys. Guys, you're making me paranoid. You're making me worried that I'm forgetting something or I'm missing something very vital. Don't you hate that? When you're like doing something and you're like, I am missing something, I'm forgetting something. I had that this morning actually. I was doing all my work, I got back from the gym, got back from grocery shopping, and I was I got back from the gym, got back from grocery shopping, and I was like, doing all of my work and all my emails and stuff. And then I was like, I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting to do? And I couldn't for the life of me think. And so then I just came up here and started getting ready for making the relish. But I, I'm still, even, to, even right now, I'm like, what am I missing? Something, I don't know what though. So yeah, would you marry me? Um, maybe, if we started if we went on a first date and we got to know each other and you had like a really laid back, chill vibe and we got along really well, then we go on a few more dates, stuff like, you know, it starts like getting really, we, we figure that we're really compatible with each other. We meet each other's family and friends. We go on some like little holidays just to see what it's like to just be just us in like some way place, you know? And then like, you know, a few months pass, see what it's like to just be just us in like some way place. You know, and then like, you know, a few months pass, we, we like integrate each other's lives into our own. And then, you know, two or three years down the road, we decide, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna get engaged. And then we get engaged. And then after that we get married and then boom. Um, yeah, so like that's, that's kind of how that works, I think. Uh, I'm not an expert, but yeah. <laughs> You're my favorite TikToker, I love your content. Thank you so much, B3. That is really kind of you. Do you have a different username that I should call you by? I like looking at your guys' usernames and seeing like if there's like a pattern or something. Um, or it's like you chose it for a reason. Um, um, or it's like you chose it for a reason. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. The only actually teacher I knew from sixth grade is now first hour teacher and she's my favorite. That's amazing, thank goodness. Hello from Switzerland. Hello, Patrick. And Dominic from Poland. Oh my gosh. Are you getting another perm soon? Um, probably not soon. So I'll show you my hair. Oh, this is my hair right now. Um, so it actually, believe it or not, it actually is permed, but it's more like, it's more like a wave because it's not like super curly. As it grows out, it'll get curlier, believe it or not. Um, but... My plan is just to like grow my hair out. I'm in that like weird, awkward growing stage at this point where I'm just trying to grow it out. And then once it gets to a certain length, then I will 
style it and cut it in a certain way to make it look nice. So yeah. The girl who cut my hair, I really like her, but she cut it way too short this time. So I was a bit, I was like, oh, I wanted to keep it long, but oh well. Can't get, can't get like uppity about it or upset about it, you know? So my plan is just to grow it out. Okay, that is getting close. Um, what are you cooking? We are making a sweet relish. Hello, Dan from the USA. Welcome. Uh, so cute. Thank you, Marcus. Sorry, but I must go. I'm at work. Okay, Paul. Well, I hope you have a beautiful day, and I will talk to you later. Oh, my Jesus. What? What's going on? What did I miss? I think we're gonna set it up here, and then from here, I can put it into the jars, and then go from there. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Don't mind me, I just have some setup to do. You're from France, welcome, bienvenue. Um, I'm going to France soon, actually. I am excited. How hot is this now? Sorry. But it tastes so good, guys. Um, je parle français un petit. Um, bonsoir, pardon. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? <laughs> um, what other French things do I know? Je habite au Canada. Um, je suis Jacques. Or Jacques. Uh, hello from the UK. Hello, welcome. My family's all from the UK. I hope you enjoyed my awful, awful French. Um, I'm trying. I swear. <laughs> my family's all from the UK. I hope you enjoyed my awful, awful French. Um, I'm trying. I swear. <laughs> I know. I know. It's not good French, but that's what you get. Uh, when you grow up in Canada is you get really weird, um, strange looking French. You just ate two pickles. Oh my gosh. You're a king, a queen, an emperor, an empress, a god, a goddess. Move to Sweden. I will make you food every day. Oh, an emperor, an empress, a god, a goddess. Move to Sweden. I will make you food every day. Oh, jeg elsker Svidas, Sverige. Jai elske Svaria. Sorry, I was like, Jai elske Sweden, but no, that's fine. Norskin min ar bedra en fransk. But anyway, your screen keeps locking up. Yeah, I have a bad connection. I'm in the middle of nowhere, guys. I'm on a farm. It's really bad Wi Fi. I don't know how my parents do it. Um, I have a way better Wi-Fi than they do, but their kitchen is nicer than mine. So it's like a trade-off. What you gonna do? Hello, welcome, uh, Bachir. Welcome, I like your name. What are you guys, what are you guys doing right now? I realize that it's like the middle of the day on a Thursday. It's like, what is your guys' vibe? What are you up to? Like anything fun? Are you busy? Were you just busy? Are you free now? And that's why you're here? I am curious. Ow. That's hot. That's hot. 
Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm doing well, Aaron. OMG, hey babes. Hey, how's it going? Hello from Zambia. Uh, Jaliso? Yaliso? That's a really cool name. I've never heard that. Is it Zambian? J A L I S O. That's a really cool name. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, so I trust you want to ask if I should. Oh, okay, sorry. <clears throat> Let me read this question and actually be involved in it. Okay, so I trust you. I want to ask if I should keep my sexuality to myself and never tell. It's really up to you. If you live in a place where you feel safe and you can be who you want to be, then you can come out and you can express that. But you don't have to share it with anybody who doesn't that you don't want to. Um... A long hair girly, I like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you live in a place that isn't safe to be LGBT, then I recommend staying safe, being careful, being careful who you let into your life. Um, so yeah, that's what I would say. Hey handsome, how was your day? Thank you, Thomas. My day has been really well. It has been really good. Um, life is good, uh, working hard, the farm is fun, yeah. How are you doing? Esteban, hello as well, as well. Brad, actually, I love your hair like that. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that, Brad. Hey, Russ. Welcome. Thank you for the rose. Um, what? Oh my goodness. How have you been? I have been really good. It has been busy. I apologize for not being live very often. Um, the last month just because it's been so crazy. It's been so hectic. I was traveling. I had a vacation um, Yeah, life has just been busy But as as we get closer to winter, I'm going to be going live a lot more often Because I will have more free time Especially when harvest is all done Hello, Linda. Welcome. I'm having a really good day. Thomas, you're from LA. That's so cool. I really want to go to LA, but I don't think I'll have time before uh, December. That's so cool. I really want to go to LA, but I don't think I'll have time before uh, December. Um, Connor, you're in France right now. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know that. Where in France? Are you like near Paris? I would really like to visit Paris. I'm going to France this winter. Um, but I don't plan on going to Paris, but I'd really like to, maybe. But I'll be there in the winter. So is it worth going to Paris in the winter? Or should I wait until the summer? Like I'm definitely going to France. Like I've, I'm like booked and everything, but picture frozen. Stupid Wi-Fi. Thank you for letting me know though. Um, it's frustrating. I can't do a whole lot about it, but you know. Okay, I think this is Da, 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 da. So we're gonna turn it on low. Da, 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 da. So we're gonna turn it on low. We're gonna get the jars out, and then we're going to load the jars up with relish. And hello from Blackpool. Hello, welcome. Um, I think I've been to Blackpool in the UK. I don't remember it though. You again. It's me again, Hazel. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. I need to really let this cool down before I taste it because it's hot. very hot. No audio picture is frozen. Ah, oh, geez, that's so frustrating. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I'll put this up on YouTube for anybody who's curious of watching the whole thing over. But um, yeah, sorry about that. Mmm.
That is so good. Hello from Nottingham. Hello, welcome. Welcome, lovely to have you here. Um, yeah. Are you guys ready for the next part of this whole process of cooking? Mitts on, oven mitts. Because these jars, woo, see them? See them? See them? See them? They are hot. Woo, see them? See them? See them? See them? They are hot. Let's see how hot they are. They're not too bad. Okay, guys, so now put up Christmas decorations. That's a little bit early, I think. I think that's a little bit early for me. Okay, I wanna try and do this as fast as possible because the jars are gonna start cooling down and I don't want them to cool down too much. So now guys, we have our jars. Oops. Okay, back can just get tilted. We have this thing. And then we grab, oh, it's right here. So I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. Uh, gonna bed in the UK. Okay, yeah, I get it, it's late in the UK. Um, hello from the Netherlands, hello, welcome. 7 a.m. in Australia, in bed watching you. That's amazing. What are you, where are you reading these? What do you mean, where am I reading them? There's the comments. Wow, you're cute. Thank you, that's very kind. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Finn. I really like the name Finn. Also, Ray, thank you for the heart. I love that. Um, Chris, thank you. That is so kind of you to say. I'm really glad you like it. Okay, so this is how this works, guys. I'm gonna try and show you as best I can. So this is what we're, this is the name of the game, is filling the jars up with the relish as best we can. And then we need to get some of that lovely, lovely liquid in there too. And then we move to the next jar and we do it all over again. So I'm gonna see how quickly I can do this. While doing it safely, of course, Guys, it already looks beautiful. I am so happy with how it's already turning out. So you grab a lid, you put it on, and then fingertip tight. And that's one done. That's how this works. Next one. That's two. Next. Gosh, these look so pretty. I never make things that look pretty, so I'm excited for this. 
My, my jars usually turn out like looking gross. It's so laggy. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's really bad connection right now. Yeah, sorry. The farm, the farm has some really, really bad Wi-Fi. So I apologize. Sometimes the Wi-Fi gets better. Sometimes it does not. But that's what I get for living on a farm. I need the ring first. It's okay guys, I just had a blonde moment. It's okay. Okay. I know, I'm sorry for the lag. I know the connection isn't great. That's why I put these all on YouTube later on so that people can watch them if they're interested in watching the whole process. But yeah, sorry guys. It's one of those things I have very little control over. And as a Virgo, I hate that. I would like to control the whole situation from the beginning, but I cannot. Okay, getting close to the first batch being ready to go. So this one's next. I don't know if I can fit another one in there. We can sure try. Let's do this one. Wow, I can't believe I got through all of the vegetables. There were so many guys. I had to do blondes have more fun. It's true, we do. I used to make 14-day pickles with my grandma. Aw, I love that. Okay, guys, this first batch is going in to the water bath canner. Here we go. Okay, so at 3.40, because this needs 20 minutes to go, then they're ready. But I can finish all of this now, if you guys can see it. There we go. <laughs> there we go. The problem when you're using any kind of sugary thing is that sugar, um, it turns sticky and it sticks to stuff really badly. So you have to make sure that the rim of the jar is really clean because that sugar can cause like a gap in the seal. And then you will not have a sealed jar and your food could go bad. So you have to be super careful with those things. Go. And I need more rings. Okay. Okay, these are the next four ready to go. And we're getting close, honestly. We don't have much left. Now, I have a question. 
do these rings work with this jar? And do they have any shorter jars? These are slightly shorter. I'm gonna use, I don't know. We're gonna use a big jar because I can. Okay. I miss canning. Oh, do I have Reddit? Um, I can't remember if I still have Reddit or not. I used to. Just made mustard pickles yesterday. Oh, looks so good. Thank you to be my personal chef. Oh, yeah, I would love to. Give tips to calm while having anxiety. The thing I need to do when I have anxiety is I need to move my body. I really do. I think it's super important that when your mind is racing, try running. Try letting your body do some racing instead. I think that's really underrated and I think it's very helpful. In my opinion, anyway. Ow. That was in my opinion, anyway. Ow. That was hot. It's all she wrote. Can't fill it up any higher than that. Put that on there. Grab a ring. And I really can't do much more than that, honestly. Hola, hello, Wendy. You're hot. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that's really kind. Thank you for the get the heart, uh, Vic. Kibbles, hello. I love your username. Thank you for the. Hat. I love your username. Thank you for the hat and mustache. I love that one. Uh, you guys are so sweet. Okay, so we have a little bit left. I guess we'll fill this one. I don't think we'll can it though, just because it's so big. I want to let the jar heat up a little bit before I put it all in there. I'm a Swifty. I'm a huge Swifty. You have a big garden and your mom and grandmother used to can and can all day. Oh, I love that. Yeah. My mother used to can and can all day. Oh, I love that. Yeah. My, my grandmother is quite a big canner. She enjoys it. My mom's mom. She likes it a lot. You know, I don't hate how these look. I think they look really pretty actually which is kind of cool. It's kind of fun, honestly. Oh my God, it's you. Yes, it is me. It is I. Um, yeah, hello, welcome. Okay. Now we're gonna try something. Might be a little bit risky, but Ooh, that's hot. Um, thank you so much for the hat and mustache. That's very kind. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, you give the best advice. Thank you. That's so kind of you. Oh, hello, Spacey. Welcome. Uh, if when you... Okay, so he said yes, but go. Sorry, uh, Cat of Shadows, I don't quite understand your question. 
hijacks. Hey, how's it going? No audio. Jeez, this Wi-Fi is really aggressively bad. Sorry, guys. Apologies. The Wi-Fi doesn't like me very much. Beautiful. Well, I could have cooked, cut up a bunch of more vegetables if I wanted to, but you can't live in the past, can you? Honestly, you just gotta live with what you got. And what we got is a lot of pickle, a lot of relish. And what we got is a lot of pickle, a lot of relish. So I'm okay with that. Oh, well guys, how are you guys feeling? How is life since I asked you 20 minutes ago? <laughs> um, yeah. What do I do with the rest of this? Do I put it in a jar? I don't think that I do. Maybe I do. I'll get a big one. Fun fact for you, so I just heated this jar up um, because if you don't, sometimes when you pour hot liquid into a jar, it'll explode, which is not fun. I can tell you from personal experience, I don't like it. Okay, and then what I'm going to do... Like a strainer. Strainer scoop. Actually, yeah. Sorry. That was loud. That was unnecessarily loud, but. That wasn't very effective, but actually, you know what will be? This one. This one's going to do way better. Look at that, guys. Can you speak a little Norwegian? Yeah, yeah, it's not the Norsk. Um. Um, Vasser jeg? Jeg studerer norsk i 2017, og jeg reiser til Norge i Øfford 17. mai. Og det var en fantastisk tid. Jeg elsker Norge. De mennesker er...
Okie dokie. Thank God. Are you second gen immigrant from Norway? Uh, or oh, that's good. You are. No, I am actually not. I am many, 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 many immigrant from Norway. Uh, or oh, that's good. You are. No, I am actually not. I am many, 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 many generations separated from me and Norway. Um, yeah, my family is mostly British. It comes from Yorkshire, where the the Norwegians sort of ruled a thousand years ago. Um, yeah, I speak Norwegian. <laughs> and yeah, I learned, I learned Norwegian, um, in high school, actually, as kind of like, I like bet myself that I couldn't learn it. I was like, I bet you can't learn Norwegian. And then I did. <laughs> um, and I fell in love with like the Norwegian culture and a bunch of TV shows and just stuff like that. Sorry, my connection just cut out for a second there. But yes, I um, I learned how to speak Norwegian by myself, and yeah, I love the culture. I love the people. Um, yeah, I love I love Norway in general. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful place. I've been there a few times, or I've been there once. Um, so yeah, thank you, thank you for the color. <laughs> um, yeah, my mom doesn't really cook much, Greg. Um, I usually do all the cooking. And she's also in Romania right now, so... Um, I can't have her on, currently. But, anyway... What is this? Aw. Guys, thank you again so much for all the gifts. Am I a Nikki fan? Of course I'm a Nikki fan. I love Nicki Minaj. Um, she is so good. Where in Norway did I go? I went to Oslo. Oslo. Um, yeah, I basically just explored around uh, Oslo. I checked out some of the museums on the other side of the fjord, I guess you would call it. I looked at some of the fjords. That was really cool. I'd really like to go to Bergen. Um, and Stavanger and Trondheim and Trondheim can we get married maybe maybe it's it's a possibility i'm not saying no okay Let's get this ready. Why are you so cute? Oh, thank you. That's way too kind. That is way too kind. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Why? Apologies, guys. I'm just trying to fix the tripod that why apologies guys i'm just trying to fix the tripod that you guys are currently sitting on you guys are currently sitting on oh, i don't know why people designed this this way it's really poorly designed i know i don't understand that sentence either i'm sorry um, OMG, really? Yes. Truly. Truly. Okay, I think if I move you guys over there, then you can see me doing the canning. So I'm moving you. I'm moving you. Sorry, guys. Whoop. This is why I don't like these camera stands. Because they are garbage. Because they are garbage. One sec. You guys can watch me do this. Fix this dumb thing. I don't understand why people designed it this way. Because it can still move. Like, it's so dumb. Oh, well. 
Is I'm gonna go. I can't with the lag. That's fair. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. The Wi-Fi is awful. In the future, I don't think I'll be doing live streams up at my parents' house because the Wi-Fi up here has just been so incredibly horrible. Um, so apologies, but I hope you have a beautiful day. Um, I'm basically just gonna wrap up here in a sec. Uh, I just wanna get the jars out, and then yeah, that'll be it. So thank you for being here. Uh, where do I want to get married? Probably here at the farm. I want to have a farm wedding. I think that'd be really cute and really fun. That's what I think. Okay, so. No scaliae. I can move this over here. Just put that right there. What are you canning? I don't know if you answered earlier. I am canning pickle relish like a, a relish that you would put on a hot dog or a sandwich or something like that. If you've ever had those sweet bread and butter pickles, that's what they're called here in Canada anyway. It's basically that. Does it loop intermittently is what weird. That's so weird. Anyway. Um, here we go. Okay, guys, now I'm going to pull. Do you bake every week? No, not usually. Um, I bake a lot during the winter, but not a whole lot during um, during the summer. I just don't have time on the farm. And it's like really hot, right? Like you don't want to be baking in a kitchen when it's really hot outside as well, because you're just going to cook. Okay, those are the jars, and then I just have to put the other ones in. I don't even know if these are, I think these might be too tall. We're gonna try, see if these are too tall. Oh, they might be okay. We might get away with that. Oh, that one, I don't know about that one. Okay. Boom. All right, guys, here, I'm gonna show you. Hey, Bestie, hey, how's it going? Uh, that's cool. So I don't make this often. I make this once a year. Um, most of the stuff that I can and I jam, I make once a year and then I move on. So guys, that's it. There we go. That's relish can a year and then I move on. So guys, that's it. There we go. That's relish can. I don't know why that's going on. Anyway, um, it's being unnecessarily loud. But guys, that is basically it today. Um, that's what it looks like. It's exciting. It's making a lot of noise, which I'm going to have to check on in a second. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to try and be live a little more often um, now that Harvest... Well, like Harvest hasn't done yet, so I will try and be live soon, checking everything out. If you're interested, you should check out my YouTube page because I have a lot of videos on there. I post a video every single day, no matter what. And I've done that for like two months because I have a lot of videos on there. I post a video every single day, no matter what. And I've done that for like two months now, which is crazy. So if you're interested in that stuff, you should check that out. You should check out my Instagram, check out all the things. Um, thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. And I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow. So yeah, thank you for being here.
Thank you for watching me pickle and make all the, the good food that we make. And yeah, thank you so much, Vic and Edgar and Connor. Thank you guys. Thank you, Mike.